the Google Cloud Platform Podcast. I'm Francis Campoy, a developer advocate for the Google Cloud Platform, and I'm here with my colleague, Mark. Hi, I'm Mark Mandel. I'm also a developer advocate of the Google Cloud Platform. It's great to be here today. Yeah, great to, great to be with you today. Uh, so... Yeah, well, what is this that we're doing today? What is the Google Cloud Platform podcast? Apparently, we're doing a podcast talking about Google Cloud Platform, which I think is pretty awesome. I'm really excited about this project. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. Uh, just to give an idea about what people should expect during yep. these episodes, let's talk a little bit before we start with the, any content that we're going to be covering today. Yep. What is the normal... Uh, architecture, the normal layout of, of what we're doing. Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So first we want to start with what we're calling the cool thing of the week. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. So basically any sort of really interesting project, maybe open source, maybe a new launch, maybe a tip or trick, something that, that, uh, we think is going to be saving people time when they work on Google Cloud Platform. We want to share it with the audience and we want this to be really like sort of participatory. Like yeah. If, if you've got something out there, you know, we're happy to fill in the details, but if you're like, man, check out this project, it's awesome, or I did this great thing and it saved me a heap of time, please send it through to us. We really want to hear about it. Yeah, and by the way, if you wanna if you wanna get in contact with us to share any of those cool things of the week, uh we have many ways of contacting us. The most important one is our webpage, yep. which is uh gcppodcast.com. Yep. Then I think we also have an email. Hello at gcppodcast.com. That's easy. Yeah. And then we are also on Twitter as GCP Podcast. On Reddit, we have the subreddit GCP Podcast. Yep. And then you can also find us on Google uh, Google Plus awesome. by searching GCP Podcast. Yeah, if you search for Google Cloud Platform Podcast, we'll Google, Pla- 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 yeah. Google, Google Cloud, Cloud Platform, Platform Podcast. <laughs> That's why I prefer to say GCP, much easier to say. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that we're gonna have that part that at the beginning of the episodes that are gonna be very participative. participative. So yep. we, we're waiting for, for your proposals. And then at the end of the episodes, we will finish with something quite similar. But rather than saying something that is cool, it's gonna be the question of the week. Yeah, really looking forward to this as well. Um, really interested to see what questions people are gonna send us through. Um, I think it's gonna be a great resource and it's always fun, you know, at events. We, we get great questions. So we'd love to share the answers that we can find with people. I think that's gonna be lots of fun. Yeah, I'm actually very excited about this part just because, uh, most of the questions that we will get. Yep. Hopefully, we will n- we will not know the answer directly. So have to go find it out. That we're gonna yeah. have to find out with other Google engineers, product managers, and so on. And after that, we're gonna learn a lot. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. Uh, so what's coming between the question of the week and the uh, cool thing of the week as well? Yeah, that's the that's the little section we call the main content. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be covering, we're gonna be doing many different things. The yep. idea is that we're gonna have like deep dives on some specific topic. Like we're gonna be talking, I don't know, but like what is data store or SQL versus MySQL? Yep. Like SQL versus not SQL, things like that. <laughs> uh, but also we want to cover uh, other topics. So. We're going to be interviewing other product managers, yeah. engineers, people that are cool and interesting in general. Yeah. I think also customer projects. So yeah. if there's people out there using Google Cloud Platform and you'd love to come on the podcast, oh, reach yeah. out to us. We totally want to speak to you. It'd be great to have you on air. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Uh, and find out, you know, what, what people out there in the wild are doing. I mean, that's, that's really the interesting stuff too. Cool. Yeah. So basically we're, we're, we're pretty open. We're going to be talking about things that we think are cool. Yep. Basically. That's pretty much it. Uh, so, okay, so what are we going to be talking about today then? Okay, so cool thing of the week, I think it's pretty straightforward. We have a podcast. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool indeed. And, uh, so yeah, uh, and what about the main content? So we built the uh, podcast for Google Cloud Platform, strangely enough. On Google Cloud Platform. That's right. So why don't we have a chat about what we did to build that and sort of let people know how they could even build their own podcasts on top of Google Cloud Platform if that's yeah. something they want to do. That sounds like a good idea. And actually, just to give a little bit of context about how this idea <laughs> came up to be. Uh, so some months ago, I was chatting with Mark about the idea of having a podcast. And we basically planned everything out. We decided everything that had to be done. And then... I went on a month of traveling and, <laughs> and Mark implemented all of this. So, so basically rather than us explaining how we did it, it's going to be more like me asking Mark how he did it. And I hope I will be learning some stuff from that. Today. Okay. Okay. We can do that. That sounds great. 
Cool. So first, uh, what what is a podcast? Like, what are the pieces in a podcast? Okay. So podcast. Um, well, obviously, if you're listening to this, you have some some familiar with podcasts. Indeed. It's a it's a audio recording where we talk about stuff and we do it on a regular basis. This is planning on being weekly, which is going to be great. So to actually have a podcast, we need audio files, generally MP3 files. We need to store them somewhere. We need some sort of website that sort of shows what we're talking about with some content, very much like a blog. Yeah, show um, notes and all that. All that yep. sort of fun stuff. And the other big piece, um, actually, I'll step back a bit. We'll need some analytics. That's really important for us. We yep. work at Google. Data is very important. Um, so we need to be able to see who's doing what on the website and downloads, things like that. And finally, we need an RSS feed. Uh, that's really important for podcasting. It's an XML feed that basically says, here are our episodes, so people can subscribe to it. They know what episodes are up, uh, are coming out now, and then they yeah. know when new episodes come out, which is pretty I cool. I see. So basically, we have we have to host some information, yep. both files and yep. XML. Then we have to have some way of distributing it. Yep. And then we want to measure how successful we are. Yes. That's it. Cool. Okay, so so how how do we store that data? Where is that data stored? Um, how do we serve all we, of that? We do magic stuff. Um, okay, so the MP3 files themselves, um, the easy answer for that was Google Cloud Storage. So that's our platform for storing binary files. Cool. It's really cool and it's very easy to use. You can create a bucket, you upload a file. Generally, I do it through the web interface because yeah. it's really simple. Yeah, you, you can literally drag and drop. Yeah, files, which yeah. is pretty nice. Which is yeah. nice. Um, and Google Cloud Storage has edge caching. Um, or edge caching, because I have an Australian <laughs> accent. Um, and so depending on where you are in the world, it makes sure the files are redundantly stored close to you, so you get really low latency. Um, so it's really awesome. Um, and so, it's, yeah, very simple. We just was like, okay, that's that's quite clearly where those go, and it yeah. makes life very, very simple. Yeah, that's actually something that it, uh, for a lot of people is really important, the fact that when you put something on, on Google Cloud Storage, it might feel like you're storing it in a disk, yeah. and that's it. But actually, you're not. You're storing it everywhere in the world. So depending on where people are accessing it, it's going to be edge cached yeah. anywhere. So that means that if... Super fast you, downloads. Yeah. If you're, if you're listening to the, this podcast from Australia or from Japan or from Barcelona, uh, yeah. you will get the same, the same experience. So a very fast experience of it starts downloading. Yeah. So very, that's very quick. super, super important. But then there's also the fact that uh, we don't want people to listen to the next episodes of the podcast. So we can also upload stuff and then keep it private for a little bit that's and share true. with what we call ACLs or access control lists. Yeah, that's I believe it. that's right. Yeah. Uh, so basically that way we can say, okay, the, the, the episode is ready. We're going to share it only with people that we want their, their reviews and so on. So, so it's, it's, it's pretty powerful. Very easy to use, but yeah. very powerful. Yeah. 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 And for our podcast, it's very easy for us to just go, this is all public read. Go forth. Be happy yeah. and very, very simple. Cool. Cool. So, okay. So now we have those files. Yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's just the audio, yep. right? Uh, what about the rest? What about all the content, the show notes? Okay, so what we did for that was a couple of very interesting things, I think. Um, so we went with a static site generator for the website, a cool. uh, project called Hugo. Uh, we did that for a number of reasons, mainly because it's written in Go and Francesc likes Go a lot. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it is actually a really nice static site generator. Um so we, we built the website with that and we could extend it to, to do all the stuff for podcasting and it worked really, really well. Um, so once we had all those static files that Hugo generates, yep. um, we needed somewhere to host that. So that makes sense. We ended, we actually had a few options with that. Um, we ended up actually going with hosting stuff, hosting our static files on App Engine itself. Um, which cool. is a little bit maybe controversial, which is interesting, but we did it for, I think, a few good reasons. One of which is App Engine gives us really easy access to HTTPS support. Yeah. Um, so you can bundle it up, stick it on App Engine, put it up in the cloud, Magic Cloud. Um, it still has edge caching, much like Google Cloud Storage. Yeah, true. Uh, which is really nice. We can also upload multiple versions that can be served at the same time on different like URLs. Yeah, that, that's something that I really like. The fact that you can do uh, be, uh, not beta testing. I forgot. A B testing. A B testing. That's it. Uh, so yeah, you can do A B testing and the and see yeah. if like, what CSS version is more performant, things like that. Yeah, that's and it's great, great yeah. too. Like I can make a podcast episode put it up on a different URL, send it to Francesc and say, hey, does this look right to you? He's like, yep, sweet. Yeah. I hit a button in the dashboard, it switches it out with no downtime, which is really nice too. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Um, and the other reason we went with App Engine is um, because we can um, 
we can also do dynamic content. So maybe I should actually step back a little bit and talk a little bit about what App Engine is for those people who don't know. That sounds like a very good idea, I mean. Yeah. Okay, so App Engine is one of our, uh, well, is our primary platform as a service offerings. Yep. So what that really means is we kind of say, hey, you need to write your code this way. Um, and we're going to kind of dictate it to you. And as long as you're happy to do that, then that means we can do stuff like really fast scaling. We can provide you with a whole bunch of services out of the box. Deployment is really easy um, because we're able to sort of adjust be based on those constraints we put upon you. And yeah, as long as that fits with you, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, there's a lot of customers we have that use App Engine and like the model because we can they can just be like, oh, I don't really care how much traffic I get because App Engine is going to handle it for yep. me. And that's awesome. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it supports Go, it supports, uh, PHP, Java, and Python. Yep. Um, out of the box. And so those are, those are some pretty decent languages that have some pretty, pretty decent, like, penetration to the Yeah. Uh, the, the thing that I really like about App Engine is that basically what you do is you just give us your code, and there's some restrictions on what yeah. kind of code you can run, but, uh, you basically just give us your code, and if it matches our restrictions, then we just run it for you. Yeah. Whatever happens. And the restrictions are pretty like reasonable. I mean, it's for web stuff, right? So it says yeah. no no requests over sixty seconds. Well, you probably shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Anyway. And yeah. there's things like you cannot run C plus plus things yeah. like that. But if you want to do that, we have other. We stuff. have other. Stuff yeah. For we have other places to run it. And there, yeah, there's uh, some of the customers that run this. Uh, it's actually pretty impressive because you think it's like, oh yeah, it's something that's going to scale, but. Can I actually trust it? Yeah. There's Rovio that uses it. There's yeah. Khan Academy that uses it. Yeah. There's Snapchat. Yeah. That Snapchat do. is huge. Yeah, it's it's huge and it supports like it's just running on a page yeah. and it runs very well. We do something like Ten times the traffic of Wikipedia. Looking at some slides we've had. Yeah, like, on App Engine, on App Engine. in general. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty impressive. It's quite a decent amount of traffic. Yeah, <laughs> and for our needs here, uh, for our podcast, I mean, it, we fit. We fit the mold really yeah, well. Clearly. Um, so we can serve an aesthetic site, the static content through it, no problem, which is great. But yeah, we've also got um, some Go code that we're using to do our analytics. Cool. Which is the other side of things. So what we do um, is we basically have just a very simple redirect in our uh, in our code to say where we're downloading uh, podcasts from. Okay. And what that does is on that redirect, the HTTP request comes in. We do a five hundred three. It redirects to um, it redirects to, uh, to cloud storage. Cloud storage. Yeah. Oh my god, my <laughs> brain just fell over. Um, yeah. So it sends off a request to Google Analytics using a little Go library we have, basically saying, "Hey, here's an event of a podcast download, and here's nice. a podcast." Um, so we're able to leverage Google Cloud, uh, Google Analytics and use all its tooling and basically be able to still use uh, all the code on App Engine at the same time. So we can have dynamic code running. We can have static content at the same time. Um, deployment's really easy. And yeah. yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's actually really, yeah, that's, really nice. That's very nice. Uh, so for the people that are curious about it, uh, what's the library that you're using for Go it's Analytics? Go Ogle Analytics. Uh, It'll be in the show notes. That's, that's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great name. I think the package name is actually GA. Ah, okay. um, <laughs> when it actually gets used. It's actually, it's a really nice library. It uses Google Analytics measurement API. Nice. You can send any data. I'm sure we'll get more sophisticated with it. Yeah, oh, give it a try. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Cool. Okay. So now we've seen how to store our data, both yeah. files, like audio files and, uh, everything else, all the HTML, CSS, images and so yep. on. Uh, we've seen how we manage, how we measure our success, but how do we cause that success? How do, how do we know, how do we make people realize that there's a new episode up there? So the big thing here is what's called like an RSS feed. Uh, I think it stands for a really simple syndication and there's a few other versions. Good. <laughs> um, it's essentially an XML feed. Um, if anyone's been involved with blogging, they've probably seen this in one way or another. It's an XML format that says, Hey, I just wrote a new blog post or a new episode of something. So when podcasting came around, it sort of got extended a little bit. So not only is it like, hey, I just put out a blog post. It's like, hey, I put out a blog post and it's got this audio attached to it. Um, and there's some extensions for iTunes and some extensions for other things like that to be able to put some metadata around that audio file. But it cool. becomes a really simple way of letting everyone know who's subscribing. Hey, there's a new podcast. You might want to listen to it. It's kind of cool. Um, and come on down. Um, that's nice. And so once we have that RSS feed that we're yep. publishing, uh, how will people find it? Like they can go to gcppodcast.com, sure. Yeah. And there's a, there's a link directly there. So you could, you could just go to GCP podcast if your podcast, uh, if you've got a podcast app or anything like that, 
you can just point at the the XML feed quite easily. It'll be on iTunes. We'll probably get it on a Stitcher at some point soon. Nice. Um, nice. I'm sure if yeah, it, it should be pretty easy to to get on board. Cool. So the last part is okay. Sure. So now we have a static content, a static site. Yep. What if people want to comment on it? Okay, so, all right, what we decided to do was basically use some existing communities. Uh, so as we said before, if people want to contact us, they can do it on Reddit and they can do it on Google+. Plus. So we're going to put a post there for every episode and just say, hey, if you want to add comments, please come talk to us here. Yeah. It makes life really simple and we can take advantage of those communities. So I think that's going to hopefully yeah. work quite well. I'm actually pretty excited, especially about Reddit. I think yeah. that Reddit is a very active community and hopefully we're going to get nice conversations. Going I on haven't there. participated in that much in Reddit, I have oh, to really? be honest, no. Um, but yeah, I'm always open to new things. So that sounds I like, like fun. it. I think it's going to be fun. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. So I think that with that, we kind of finish how to run a podcast on the cloud. Yeah, That's I think so. Nice. Cool. That, that was pretty easy. That was, yeah. Cool. So we said that we had the quest, the, the cool thing of the week. Yep. Then the main content. So now we're going for the third part, which is a question of the week. Do you happen to have one? I happen to have a question of the week. Nice. Um, I was at an event a little while ago. It was a sports themed event. Um, and so this question came up where we were talking about, uh, we had a potential customer asking about whether we were HIPAA compliant. What is that? <laughs> so I'm not going to try and explain it to the degree of being a lawyer. Um, but essentially, if you're doing health type things, then okay. you might need the sort of governmental compliance to be able to be like, yes, I can run legally. This okay, seems really, so really good. The H in HIPAA stands for health, health. somehow. Poop. Yeah. <laughs> That's H-I-P-A-A uh, compliant. Um, and the nice answer to that question is actually, yes, we are HIPAA compliant. Cool. Um, if you're interested in our HIPAA compliance or any other compliance, we actually have a page under Google. Uh, what is it? cloud.google.com slash security slash compliance, where we talk about all our compliance needs. Um, we do business, ag- business associate agreements, all that sort of fun stuff as well. So generally speaking, if you need that sort of compliance, you generally know you need that sort of compliance. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you do need that sort of compliance and you don't know, you'll find out pretty quickly. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, thankfully it was a really easy a- question to answer when, when we got asked. So um, yeah, I mean, and also in that, in that URL, you can check out security stuff as well. There's a lot of actually really interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of really interesting com- uh, information out there. Uh, great. So you said that the question of the week from the, for this week came from an event. Yep. What else are you going to be doing regarding to events? What, what are you doing next? I've got a few things on my plate. Uh, the thing probably locked in the most, uh, I'll mention is I will be at Closure Conj in November. I do like my functional programming. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'll be talking about wrapping Closure developer tools in containers. Where are you going to be in the next little while? Going to be at uh, many, many places, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, in November, I'm going to go to Ordev. Uh, I'm not really sure I pronounce it correctly. It's the weird O, oh, no? like okay. Swedish, Swedish O, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, uh, It's in Malmo. It's going to be a very nice conference. I'm going to be talking about Go and uh, Go on the cloud. Awesome. And then I'm going to go to Dot .go, which is in Paris. Of course, yeah. Go conference again. Yeah. It's going to be really fun. I still don't know what I'm going to be talking about, but I think it's going to be quite fun. I may <laughs> okay. talk about uh, um, functional programming in Go. Ooh, we should talk about that. Yeah, that's going to be scary. And then uh, we're going to have a lot of people from from our team, uh, from Google Cloud Platform Advocacy Team, uh, DevOx in Antwerp, in okay. Belgium. That should be lots of fun. It's a shame yeah. I'm missing that, actually. We're going to be running a couple of workshops. We're going to be there. So if you're going to be somewhere around there, uh, feel free to come say hi. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, well, that sounds great. Well, if you aren't going to be at those events, please feel free to send us an email, reach out to us on Twitter, reach out to us on Reddit. We'd love to talk to you. Community interaction is awesome. We're yeah. super looking forward to that side of everything. Um, let's remind people where we can reach us. Okay. So for the web page is gcppodcast.com. Lovely. For the email is hello at gcppodcast.com. For the Twitter handle is gcppodcast.com. <laughs> For Actually, the it's just GCP podcast. Oh yeah, sorry, got, sorry, sorry. A little. I got too excited. <laughs> uh, for the Reddit, so for the subreddit is GCP podcast. Yep. And then you can find us on Google Plus, searching for Google Cloud Platform Podcast. Wonderful. Okay. Well, I think that probably wraps us up there. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining me, Francesca. I look forward to doing many of these with you soon. Yeah. Thank you, and see you next week. See you next week. Bye.